now. But I uh, hope it was good, whatever you were doing. And I hope the week hasn't been too bad for you. What the hell am I doing in an attic? This has to be an inn. Um, and I just... This, this could be... I'm going to guess I'm in Sasau. I don't know. No. Talmberg. Right. Yeah, this is the Talmberg Inn. Cool. What the hell was I doing in Talmberg? God save, Henry. I don't know. A Tuesday stream? Is it Tuesday today, Mr. Scott? It's it. I hope it's Wednesday. <laughs> Don't do that to me. God Don't do that to me right. because um, I can be easily confused at the moment. I'm a bit out with the days, a bit lost. So, oh, I remember now. I remember. I was having flashes of doing something, uh, quests for the Lord and stuff. But no, that's not the case, is it? We're looking into the strange poacher in the woods. I do remember now. The poacher where you have to decide between supporting the guards and supporting the poacher and seeing what the hell goes on. And I like this. The toilet directly over the stream. So the turds flush instantly away. Oh, oh they actually, actually have put a mound of turd in the privy in this one. They haven't drawn that in a lot of the others. <laughs> nice. And where does the inn draw the water from? Downstream of the privy. They even I'd remind me not to eat and drink at this place, folks. <laughs> because it gives uh, the beer a bit of a head, a bit of flavour, a bit of body. Right, okay. Um, you bet that was me. Who? What? Being the, the poacher? Could be. Henry has been a bit of a poacher in his past life. He's playing the good guy now. So let me let me just refresh myself where I was with this quest. There's the ha hare hunt. Um, now, that's nothing to do with hunting hares. This poaching guy, this legendary poacher who disappeared years ago, was called Hanakin Hare. And I have to find out more about him. I think I've done that. Yes, I think I've done all that. And also, there's this bit, which is part... No, that's a different quest altogether. Oh, I thought there was a separate side to this. There's something... Else. Oh, it's got... Oh, hang on. It's got all the options back to go and talk to people. Surely not. I've done this, haven't I? I know I, was, I loaded it in again, but I think I, it was after I'd talked to everyone. Please? Maybe not. I heard there are poachers in the woods round here. If only if it was just poachers. It's that sorcerer hair. He's the one who's been running amok. I said he'd be back, and I said he'd be vengeful. And I was right both times. I remember her. Okay, looks like I have to talk to everyone again about this. That's not where I hope to load the game in, but anyway, we'll go through with that. Hi, Mad Tom. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, it was me leaving the Mound of Turd. I see, putting something back into the community. I see, I see. Well, could have been. Henry has had eaten... Well, he has... I think he has had food poisoning whilst I've been playing him, so he could well have been. Uh, I was going to say something else, and I totally forgot what it was. You're probably going to have a few instances of that tonight. Anyway, let's listen to this. Oh, that was it, yeah. Silly me. I've adjusted the volume settings, so these cutscenes should be a bit louder. Let me know if it's too loud or still too quiet. It really shouldn't be. And see if you can uh, make it out a bit easier. Tell me something about Hanukkah hair. Ah, that was all years ago. He turned up here one day, no one rightly knew where from. He claimed up at the castle to be a nobleman's son, and so he got the office of Master Huntsman, and Margaret was promised him for his wife. Nobody could have known he was a sorcerer. A sorcerer? Hi, Pedro. How am I doing? Uh, better than I have been the last couple of days. I'm recovering from uh, just a bit of cold, really. Nothing I should really complain about, but I've been pretty knackered. Uh, let's, what's and his how did his sorcery reveal itself? Well, he was able to vanish into thin air in the forest right in front of folk. And I've heard it said he spoke to animals too, though I don't know the truth of it. That doesn't sound very convincing to me. Very That's suspect. That's because you've not seen his marksmanship. It wasn't natural, the things he could do with that bow of his. They say he sold his soul for the gift of it. I see. Mm, I know the feeling. That sounds a little bit loud to me. I don't know about you guys. Anyway, Pedro, sorry. How are you as well? 
How did it go with Margaret? I'm not one to gossip. But she was a flighty lass in her younger years. She could never make up her mind which one she wanted, the hair or Nicholas. So in the end, fate decided for her. What do you mean? What happened with hair? Oh, that was quite something. And then some on top of it. Sir Henry of Lipo was visiting here at the castle, and Hare snapped his guardsman's neck with his bare hands. Of course, they found him out. But how do you keep a sorcerer under lock and key? You can't. That's your answer. And that Satan spawn slipped the net. Oh, well. It's quite a wild story. Hmm, it is indeed. Easy to speak to animals, it's when they speak back you need to be worried. That is very true. Any idea why he murdered the man? No one knows, and most likely never will. But they say he was fully in the devil's power. There was a full moon, mm. you see. I'm liking this voice acting. Now I've turned it up, it gives, it gives it a new dimension. Was he actually seen killing the guardsman? I suppose so. Oh, hi, Cookie. Else they'd hardly know who did it, would they? Hmm. That's probably true. There is one other thing I want to ask. Uh, we've heard about hair. Who about does hair want revenge on? Master Huntsman Nicholas, of course. When the hair disappeared, Nicholas took his Margaret and the Huntsman's posting. So Nicholas came out of it well. That one always knew how to land on his feet. Has anyone actually seen this hammock in hair? He seems to exist only as a bogeyman to frighten naughty children. Oh, he exists all right. But he flits around in the forest like a shadow. They won't shadow. be catching him any time hmm. soon. But Blacksmith's Betty heard some of their goings-on in the woods. Goings-on? What's that supposed to mean? Blacksmith's Betty. Cavorting and raising hell. Sorcery! Hare meets up with his sorcerer's apprentices, and they feast in the clearing in the woods. In the morning, they turn into ravens and scatter. Or so she says. But you'll have to ask Betty for more. Who knows what hey, she Hey, Blacksmith's saw, Betty, let's go and ask her. What she was doing there with them. Indeed, what was Very she doing well. with them? I'll ask. Hey, Atelier, Zarier's evening, and hair looks like Kingdom Come Deliverance is Robin Hood. He sounds that way. Definitely sounds that way. Didn't didn't quite work out that way when I met him last week. Thanks. I think I know all I need. I think I've got the information Goodbye. out there. You just put your voting for game of the year, and Pedro Polidor, tell me what game was that? Uh, who else do I need to speak to around here? There's Tom of the Bats. Um. By the way, I'd recommend doing the DLC Privis Avis quest during the playthrough, not at the end. Okay, Shockwreck, why is that? I was kind of saving it to the end. But why? Um, why doing it halfway? And does it really... Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because once you've done the initial quest, got Privis Avis out of the way, I guess it's free to rebuild. Hmm. Anyway, I need to go to... Brada the Tanner's wife. Margaret... I think I need to. I think I don't need to go and speak to hey, watch it. The Tanner's wife first. Let's go and do that. We'll race off across well, here. Hmm. Oh, Mr. Scott, eighty-eight agrees. Okay, so come on then, folks, educate me here because I've not looked into this. When's the best time to do the DLC? But why is it better to do it uh, sooner rather than later? You voted for this one, Pedro. Good choice. It is a very worthy, very worthy um, nomination for Game of the Year. Not you. Hey, look out. Not you. Speak to you. I hope Do I? I can be of some humble service really? to you. I heard you have poacher trouble. Certainly do. They're running wild around here. And they kill a lot more than they take. Many a time I've seen a carcass just thrown in a ditch. I love this Australian accent. Hey, kill streak. It's going well, thanks. Uh, well, considering we've just started the game, I haven't killed anyone by accident yet. 
Why would someone just toss their catch in the woods? It doesn't make sense. Well, the wagging tongues say they're just doing it to spite the huntsman. Oh, hello, folks. We've got loads of people joining us. Peanut Butter and M2HMGHB. Uh, yeah, I am getting a bit better, thanks. I'm, I recovered enough to be able to talk tonight, which is, a, which is a bonus. What graphic settings are you playing on? Mostly medium peanut butter and a, and a couple of low settings. And I don't have the high-resolution texture pack installed because my video card, although it's a GTX 970 and runs the game fine, doesn't have enough video RAM for that. So I'm going to be upgrading that in the very near future to either a 1080, potentially a 1080 Ti, or maybe one of the 2080s. Now, the 2080s are a bad buy at the moment because of the performance to cost ratio isn't that great. But there's one thing about them that's tempting me, and it's to do with the hardware encoder. They've got the NVENC hardware encoder. I do use that to record all my videos with, and it's supposed to be better than on the 10 series cards. How much better? I don't know. Probably not worth it, but it's the one thing that's tempting me to a 2080, but they're just too much money. So... Ah, uh, I, th I thought I'd decided which card I was going for, but um, a bit more research still required, I think. Do you have any idea who the poachers could be? If I knew, the bastards would be strung up by now. Uh, don't tell me you've heard nothing at all. Well, I did hear that Thomas, that fellow who works at the bathhouse, was mouthing off recently, saying he'd go and bag himself some game and lay on a right feast for the village girls. I see. Hmm, Tom of the Baths. I must have loaded this game in a lot further back than I thought I did. Has anyone seen those poachers with their own eyes? No, just the dead game they leave behind. But Blacksmith's Betty saw some goings-on in the woods. <laughs> goings Blacksmith's on. Betty. What's that supposed to mean? Well, that's what she said, and I ain't one to pry. That's what she said. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, so the, um, the DLC, the From the Ashes, the town Pribus obviously rebuild, it generates cash for you. That's cool. Do I kill the innocents on accident or is it accidentally on purpose? Uh, a little bit of both sometimes. A little bit of both. Might be worth it to see what the 2070 is like. Hmm, could be. I don't think that's going to have the features that I require, but we should we could wait and see. Hmm, let's have a look. Right. Why would anyone want to take revenge on the huntsman? He's not the best-liked man in the village. We all know that. And then there are those who say Hannikin Hare is back. Yes, I feel like I've heard about Hannikin Hare too much. Who's Hannikin Hare? You're not from around here, are you? The Hare's quite the Talmberg legend. He used to be Master Huntsman here once, but then he ran off. I like the way he says you're not from around here, are you, in his authentic Bohemian Australian accent. <laughs> Why did he run? Well, it just so happens I know the answer to that. Some big important nobleman came to Talmberg around then and they made a grand occasion of it. And in the midst of it all, Hare had a falling out with some man-at-arms and knocked him in the moat. The poor bugger broke his neck. They picked the Hare up, but before they could take him before the court, he vanished. Why take revenge on Master Huntsman Nicholas? Because of Nicholas's wife, Margaret. Hare had his eye on her back then, but she didn't care for him and he was fuming. Well... And after he disappeared, Nicholas got his post. Where did he run to? No one really knows. They say he's hiding in secret tunnels beneath the castle. Hmm. But that's all fairy tales. It's been years. As I see it, he's underground all right. Six feet down and cold. Buried and dead. Uh, the DLC is about building a about village and not much story. With your cash, you'll build it quick. And then what? Nothing extra to keep going. You might use some special items generated there. Also, gathering VIP NPC all around the map for Pribislav. It's his natural doing other quests. That does make sense, because you have to visit other parts of the map and other villages, don't you? And you don't need to finish the main quest before you start that DLC, is that right? Thanks. That's all I need to know. Take care. Yeah. Right, let's, let's, let's get this... Because I'm in Talmberg. I could actually start the Privy oh, thing tonight if I wanted to. Hmm, we'll have a think. So, <coughs> excuse me, I feel like my voice is about to go already. Someone's in here, right? It's Blacksmith's Betty. We hope. 
She must be in there. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let's have a wash. That's better. I always like hey. to wash in the trough <laughs> when I'm about to invade somebody's private house. I've got a few questions about these poachers. So ask. Let's go with that one first. What do you make of this poaching that's been going on? It's clear as day. Hannikin hair's back. And putting those antlers on Nicholas's house? Well, we all know what that means, don't we? It's the sign of a cuckold, you mark my hmm. words. Hi, Kings of How's it going? Oh, thanks very much, uh, M2H. Thanks for the bits. That's very kind of you. Get well soon, eh? I, uh, I think I'm on the mend. I blame my wife for that. She had this cold last week and it lasted about 72 hours and then she was fine. So this should be my last day of it. Unless, of course, I get some evil, corrupted, uh, distorted version of it that, that drags on another week. You wife's cheating on him. But thanks. All I'm saying is she might be feeling the urge. It happens in the best of families. Is that so? Well, you're the first who's certain of Harry's return. So far, I've just heard vague rumours. Well, now, I wouldn't say I'm completely sure. I suppose some other mischief maker could have done it, but better the devil you know, and everyone hereabouts knows hair. Hmm. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to go this this way, but uh, it's going to work. Let's do it. Stop trying to wriggle out of it. Do you realise who I am? Do you know um, who I am? Not really. Do you know who <laughs> Ratted Cobbler is, right? Of course. I'm his right-hand man, and I'm helping the huntsman catch the poachers. So, I'm not someone you should be messing around. This All didn't, right. this didn't oh, sound good. <laughs> but promise not to tell Nicholas I said it. I'll do what I can, but I need to let him know what I discover. So, out with it. It's to do with Margaret, his wife. They say it's all because of her. Keep going. I know full well hair's here, because Margaret admitted as much. Ooh. What did she tell you? That he waited in the woods till she came by and they exchanged some words. Words was all she told me. Who knows what they actually got up to. And what did they speak about? I don't know. But if Nicholas knew they'd met, he'd most likely kill her. Really? You're sure she wasn't saying it in jest? Oh, no. Margaret wouldn't joke about something like that. Maybe I should mention this to Nicholas. Well, you're the first who certainly... Oh, I've heard that. Turn. I've done that bit. Sorry. Well, now, I wouldn't say I'm... You were singing a different... So? Why do you want to know so much, anyway? It's nothing to you, but I'm helping Nicholas unmask that local poaching gang. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, now you know. And you also know not to keep anything from me. So... What's the story with that hair? All right, I'll tell you what I know. But promise not to tell Nicholas I said it. I'll do what I can. I guess that was the other I option. I need to let him know what I discover. So, out with it. It's to do with Margaret, his wife. Okay, Keep yeah, going. we've heard this. I know full well. Yeah. What did she tell you? Yeah. That he waited in the... And what did they speak yeah, about? Yeah, I see, I, I see. You're sure she wasn't... Oh, no. Right, okay. Let's get the rest Who's of the info. Who's this Hannikin hair, anyway? Hannikin hair? There was a time he was master huntsman here, and Margaret was set to be his wife. But then he got himself accused of murder and fled before they could hang him. Margaret and his job both ended up going to Nicholas. Uh, Attack Mizo, is this the DLC? No, the DLC is kind of all integrated into the game. Um, so you, you can actually do the DLC whilst you're doing the main story and, and other quests and side quests and stuff. Uh, this is just part of the game. It often feels like there's a lot of DLC in this because there is so many side quests and really nicely told side stories that all blend into the blend into the main theme in the world seamlessly, well, for the most part, anyway. So what's the story between her and Margaret? Kill her. It was complicated. <laughs> he wanted her and she wanted him too, I reckon, at least for a while. But then she hitched up with Nicholas and now she says she never had a thought of wedding Hannah and Hare. A likely story. So what went on between Hare and the Huntsman? Those two? There was no love lost between them from the moment Hare arrived. 
and then Margaret got involved. It was a messy business. Do you think Hare really killed that man? Who knows the truth of it now? I did find it all a bit odd. Hare never was much of a hothead. But then again, no one really knew him that well. And Margaret never wanted to speak of it. Wouldn't hear a word about it. So I think the conclusion I'm coming to... That's all I need. Thanks. Is that... Uh, God be with you. That this hair fellow was innocent of that crime. Who was that, by the way? That was Blacksmith's Betty. Um, I so want to burst into song as soon as I say that name. There was also Brad of the... Uh, Tanner's wife? I need to go and speak to Margaret and Tom of the Bats. Maybe I've speaking, spoke speaking. Maybe I've speaked to Brad of the Tanner's wife already on before I saved the game. Who knows? Seems a long time Welcome, ago. Welcome, Henry. <clears throat> oh God, my throat, my voice is not going to hold out the entire night. I can feel it. We'll see how far we hey, get, eh? Henry's come to see us. Do you know? I, it's so bizarre because I can hear these voices so crystal clear in my headphones now that I've turned the uh, the dialogue options up a little bit. Because someone on YouTube complained they're a bit quiet, and they were. They were too quiet. But I've turned it up to the point where now I feel like I can guess what brand and make of microphone <laughs> the voice artists were using based on how clear um, those voices are. It sounds it sounds really good. The, the voice has been recorded in really professional studio settings, even though they're most likely recorded in home audio booths where voice artists tend to do a lot of their work. My humble greetings. How may I serve you? This guy sounds like a bit of a ponce. I'm here to find out about the poachers gang and I need to ask a few questions. Well, ask away. I don't have all day. Let's go that one. Blacksmith first. Betty saw people feasting in the woods, and she says there was a nice smell of venison. What do you know about it? Nothing. I wasn't there. And I don't suppose you'll tell me who was? No, because I wasn't there. Hmm. I heard you were yelling in the tavern that you were off to hunt some venison. Look here. I don't know who you are, but you should watch your mouth. I will. Don't you worry. So what happened then? What? Nothing. It was just the beer talking. I got pissed and started spouting shit. Didn't mean a word of it. Maybe not. Been there, done that. That remains to be seen. Okay, that'll do. That'll do me. Hmm. I'm here to find out about the poachers gang, and I need to ask a few questions. Well, ask away. I don't have all day. I've asked that bit, haven't I? Yep, that's, that's what we just did. That'll do me. Okay. And this one. I hear there's been trouble with poachers recently. I don't have time to talk to strangers. Good day to you. Good luck, then. Hmm. He's not terribly helpful. I kind of get the impression... ...that he's keeping something back. And I don't like that, and there's nothing I can do about it. Unless I beat the crap out of him. Unless I picked his pockets. Mm, there's probably nothing in it. Welcome, Henry. Oh, that's a very nice greeting from the guardsman there. Let's go and speak to this... Uh, why is it suggesting there's two people up this hill? Oh, hang on, one might be a quest. Check out the inn and the... Are you kidding? You've got to be kidding, right? I don't need to go there. I definitely did that last stream. Hang on a minute. That was the last one. That's the one we continued from. Hmm. And we'd been, we'd been there, so maybe that's just a hangover, a marker on the map for some reason. Odd. A strange feeling of deja vu. I thought I'd saved it after most of the goings on, but maybe I hadn't. Anyway, let's go and see what the uh, huntsman's wife. Oh, she locked in the house. There is another way in. There is another way in. That's locked as well. Right. 
talk, damn you. Hmm, really talked though about poacher trouble. I'd like to ask you about Hannikin Hare. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to talk about that. That's all I need to know then, right, okay. That, that answers all my questions. I think not. The thing is, every time I spoke to someone about Hare, they always ended up talking about you. But I don't. You aren't to blame for anything, is that it? Well, I am willing to believe you, but you do know more than you're telling, and I need to hear it. Very well. You're right. And what would you like to know about Hare? Hmm. Yes, let's go straight in at the deep end. What did you talk about in the woods with Hannikin Hare? I see Betty's mouth's been busy. Don't oh, blame yes. her. She I said your mouth's been busy. Out of her. Now tell me. Oh, all right. Well, it seems Hannikin Hare's exile has addled his brain. He told me he'd go off with me, that he still loves me and nonsense like that. And what about you? What do you mean? I was so shocked, I couldn't even scream. Is that all he told you? He said if I change my mind, I'm to hang a garland of forget-me-nots on the house and wait for him at that place of ours. Ooh. I didn't learn about this last time, that's for sure. Okay. Right, this is this is a new lead. I knew the quest had gone wrong somewhere last time. How were things between you and Hare back then? There was nothing between us. Hannick and Hare impressed my father with all his talk of noble blood. But I couldn't stand him, and I didn't want to marry him. And then it made no odds after he ran away. So you didn't want him? I only asked because I've heard differently. That's village talk. Of course folk gossip. Mostly, they just want to hurt Nicholas. Hmm. Out of curiosity, there's a lot of air rifle target shooting over there. I do a bit of it since I can't shoot bow and arrow due to shoulder issues. Uh, I know what you mean. And I was just curious about over in the UK. Yes, there is. There's lots of air rifle field target clubs um, where you shoot different size targets, different um, sort of, I was going to say trajectories, different inclines, declines up and down hills all over the place. Yeah, there's lots of that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's quite a popular thing. Fact. One of the UK champion compound archers, and he medalled, I think, at the World Field Championships in the past. He gave it up. He just got sick of it one day, took up air rifle target shooting, and became, I think, world champion or won a silver at the World Air Rifle Champ Field Championships as well. So transferring skills from one sport to another with a lot of success there. Did Hare really commit the murder? God in heaven, how should I know? Anyway, it doesn't matter now. That remains to be seen. I think he was framed for that murder. I really do. Master Thief perk is nice. It is. A bit late today, Typhon X. Hi, by the way. Uh, has your house survived the children's party? The house survived fine. <laughs> my my daughter, whose party it was, uh, nearly knocked herself out and opened up a great big cut on her chin, which is why I wasn't streaming Monday. I had to go and get some emergency first aid stuff. Uh, to bandage her up. She was fine. She didn't actually realise she'd hurt herself until someone else pointed it out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, house went. House survived better than my daughter did. <laughs> Where was it you good. saw him exactly? I wish I could tell you. The whole thing was like a fever dream. I almost got lost trying to get out of the forest. Even if I remembered, it wouldn't be any use to you. Hannikin Hare moves through the forest like a ghost. He knows every tree root off by heart. Is that so? Right, let's set up the meeting. I want you to hang that garland on the lodge. But I don't want to go anywhere with him. You don't have to go anywhere. But tell me, where is that secret meeting place of yours? On the way to Ujits. Back then, we used to meet by the great big beech tree, right next to the wayside shrine. There's a lovely view there, you see. And what time will he be waiting there for you? At dawn. What are you going to do to her? Never you mind. Hmm. The main thing is it will all get sorted out. And that's all that matters, isn't it? I suppose so. Very well, then. I'll hang the garland for you. Interesting. Let's see what goes on from here. Hi, Shaggy. How's it going? Uh, it makes sense for the compound uh, archer. Breathing control, finger control, and follow through the same no matter what sport. That'll be everything. 
May the Lord watch over you. 